Okay, so I'm going to show you how to use a coat scanner. You're going to take the, uh, this end of it. We're going to put it right up here in this uh, connector slot to connect to the computer of the car. Can't really see. That's all the way in. Okay. And then let me go ahead and connect the other end here to the scanner and I'll be right back. Alright, so the first thing you do is you put your, your scanner together. Then you go ahead and power up the vehicle. Just to the on position. Okay. Then you go ahead and hit your scanner. Powered on, like, power button. And then you want to go ahead and set it for diagnostics. We're going to hit enter. Because we've chosen, see, we can choose whatever we want for menu. But in this case, we want diagnostics. Okay. And then we're going to go with the, uh, not the ABS, the other one. I can't really read it for the camera, but the top one. And then it's going to connect to the car, or the computer. And that's connecting. This made protocol. Okay, so, there we are right there. Now we're going to look for a stored code. No, we don't want to erase the codes. And we'll hit enter. But we want to go to the stored codes. Or read codes. So I click that. Then I want the stored codes, and apparently there's absolutely nothing wrong with this car. Lies and deceit. But, <clears throat> so whatever's wrong isn't showing code on the computer. But if we go back here, and back out of this, uh, exit, yeah. You can go back to the ABS system, which I know there's code stored there. Uh, USA vehicle, and a... We have a GM, which is a, a uh, Chevy Blazer, mm, 2001, and, the and I believe we are a, a medium duty truck, I think that runs as history. So we got that with a solenoid valve relay, which was caused by the... Uh, <clears throat> the bad wire up there, which is up as that. Got seven codes here, so we got this one here a wheel speed signal malfunction. We have something with a powertrain, and we got left front wheel speed sensor. We knew that open short. That's kind of one of those roaring noises you hear, and circuit malfunctions, powertrain. I'll have to go through these and check these all at, at a time, but. Basically, the front wheel sensors are probably really dirty and need to be cleaned. But that's basically how you use the uh, scanner. I'm um, backing out of it now. I hit the escape button. But like I said, these are the codes. And uh, once it connects to the computer again, <clears throat> it does different modules. You can use this one to check your flags and all that stuff. Um, no. You can look at live data on your system if your car was running. Mine obviously isn't right now. You can view the data. Complete data. It gives you fuel system and everything running. Um, I don't know. You can show the temperature somewhere here. But... But that's basically how you use it. You just go and you enter those codes and it's very, very simple. Alright, that's how you use one. As I said, there's this a hundred dollars for nothing, but it's good to have. Next time I sorry, next time I buy a car, I'm gonna go out and just um <clears throat> I'm gonna plug this in before I buy it. Uh, I haven't really been happy with this truck, but still. Anyway, that's how you use a code scanner. It's it's very simple, straightforward. So and this one here from Harbor Freight, you can update from the internet and get all new codes and information. So there you go. All right. Have a great day. Thanks. I'm going to get back to work.